Hi everybody! Today I'm going to be making a um, pencil grip that I will be using on my hook so that I can have a grip on the hook while I'm working. Um, I'm going to be making two so that I can have it on my rainbow loom hook and my crochet hook. Um, I have not made one before but I do know how to make it. So, you can pick as many colors as you want. I am only doing teal and black as you can see um so i'm gonna get started so first what you want to do is you want to take off these blue pieces so just take these off all right so shove that blue piece off and you're going to take this blue piece off all right so now it should look like this you should only have the long blue piece on it. Alright, sorry about that. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to have the arrow, the red arrow right there, pointing towards you. Then take off the very left, um, very left row of pegs. So that way, you are left with what looks like this, if you're looking at it correctly. Alright, so I'm going to turn mine sideways so you can see the whole thing. I'm actually going to turn my volume down, sorry. Turn the music down. Alright, so the arrow is pointing towards you, alright? So first, get the first color you want to start with. I'm going to start with teal. Now you're going to twist it. Alright, so first, get your band, twist it into a figure eight and place it from the bottom left pig peg to the top left pig peg I keep saying pig sorry um from there to there okay and remove these sorry then what you're gonna want to do is get another band twist it place it from and you're only gonna need to use these bottom four pegs but place it from the top left to the top right. These are the four pegs you're going to be using. So when I talk about top, I mean these two. When I talk about bottom, I mean these two. Alright? So you should have an, an infigure eight going from here to here. An infinity sign going from here to here. Now you're going to make another figure eight on the right side. Then you're going to make another infinity sign on the bottom two. This is the only twisting you're going to be doing the entire time. Alright. So, hold on, let me even out my peg lines. There we go. Alright, now you're going to get your second color. And you're just going to go from here to here. From the bottom left to the top left. Then the top left to the top right, top right to the bottom right, and then the bottom two are going to be like that. Alright, now I'm going to go back to teal, do the same thing again. And sorry, I cannot pause my camera, so I will be doing this with you the entire process. I cannot pause and skip forward and just be done with it by the time you see. So sorry. Alright, so now you should have three colors, like that. Now you're going to grab the bottom two, the bottom color, pull it up to the top like this. You're going to do that with every single one, like this. Sorry, I need to turn it a little bit so I can see. I really can't see under here. Alright. Alright, so it should look like this. Alright, then again, get your next color. Mine is black. Again, go from bottom to top. Do the two top ones. Top to bottom. Two bottom ones. Take the two bottom black ones. 
pull them up, two bottom black ones, pull it up. Now all this is going to turn out to be is obviously teal and black, but they're going to be, they're not going to be stripes, they're going to be like chevron, they're going to be like the pointed stripes, they're going to be like a zigzag stripe. Alright, so you're going to push those down, get your next color, do the left side, the top, the right side, and it has to be in this pattern or else it won't turn out right. Right side and the bottom. Oh, I'm sorry, I was going to loop it, which I really can't do with that. And this is just basically doing a hexafish. If you don't know how to do that, I will. I will actually make a hexafish bracelet. You're basically just ma making this into a bracelet. It's nothing complex, really. It's the exact same thing. Um, I've never made a hexafish bracelet, but I know how. And this is not going to be very long, and it's not going to take up like from here to here. Mine's only going to take up from about here to here. It's going to be a normal pencil grip. And then on this one, it's only going to take up from here to about here. It's not going to take up a whole lot. Because normally people have it from like here to here, which is what Mia, my friend, has done. Mine is probably going to be like here to here. It's going to shrink down a little bit. Alright. So, I'm going to finish putting on these bands. See, I have never done this before, so this is actually pretty new to me as well. Um, I have seen a video on it before, and I will tag her below. Sorry, I was grabbing one for no reason, but I will tag her below. Not tag, but I will put her link below. And um, you can watch the original video. I think it's a little harder because she skips ahead. And she just, she pauses the video and skips ahead a lot because she can't do stuff on camera. So it's kind of hard to keep up. And she fast forwards, which bugs me a lot. But um, I'll still put her video below so you guys don't think I'm stealing her stuff. Because I'm not. I'm just showing you a little better. Because I can't pause. I don't fast forward. And I can do every step with you. So that's good. So again, do the left side, do the top, do the right side, and do the bottom. And unfortunately, I don't, her video doesn't show you how to kind of move this to the side but eventually we'll get there once it's long enough and I can actually pull it to the side somehow you're supposed to pull this like over here I don't know I don't know alright next color left top right bottom and do all of the corners and do not forget to subscribe like and comment um, comment anything that I need to improve or anything you want me to do next um, if I don't know how to do something, I will either look it up in my book, or I can find out how to do it with my friend, or I can look up another video and show you guys how to do it a little easier. I always do things a little easier just because it helps me wrap my mind around it. So, just comment below the next thing you want me to do. Um, my next bracelet is going to 
B. Hold on, sorry. Got the noise. My next bracelet is going to be a double rhombus. And I told you that last video, but um, I started making a pencil grip. So, just thought I'd tell you that in this video. Um, don't forget to go through all of my videos. I do a different bracelet every single time. Unless I'm going to improve on something else. Improve my performance. My agility. Anything like that. Or I can show you a different way how to do the same bracelet. An easier or more difficult way, whatever works with you. It is completely up to you. But, um, the way this girl does it that I learned from is she does one band at a time. She doesn't do two bands pull up, two bands pull up. She does one stupid band at a time, which really irritates me because you have to take twice as long to take them up. And, I mean, they already take enough time by themselves. So, I just move them both up at the exact same time. It works still. It's not like it crashes it. It comes out with the same product. I don't know why she doesn't do it. Maybe I'll comment that on hers for you all to see. That's what really agitates me, though. All right. Well, it got long enough that I could move it to the side. There's the side of my grippy. As you can see, it's moving along, moving along. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a. Uh, I've been getting sort of a cold. I've been taking Sudafed. Winter. Don't forget to comment any questions you have on this hexafish design. Um, comment below if you want me to make a hexafish bracelet, and eventually I will once I get through my book of bracelets, which shouldn't take long because I post a few a day. Um, I believe after, hold on, after the double rhombus, I will be making butterfly blossoms. Um, chain mail and that is it butterfly blossoms and chain mail and the double rhombus so I got three more in that book and then I will take any requests that I find on any of my videos and I will also be making charms um, then I will be making letters and I will be posting um, videos that I um, that can help with that and letters I just kind of um, I kind of play around with them or I look at fashion elegances and she has the entire alphabet there that I know of um, I haven't seen every letter I've only seen M because I didn't know how you would do M but um and I only did Mia's name. I had M-I-A. I, I normally play with those, though. So, if I do anything off of her account, Fashion Elegance is her name. Or if you can't do something that she does and you want me to say it in simpler words, I can definitely do that. But Fashion Elegance does a lot of, she does every letter. Now, as you can see, my grippy is coming along. And again, you probably don't need as many bands as I've used, but I'm making two, so if you are going to make two, you probably will. Alright, well I think I'm going to stop right after this one, right here. Yeah, because this is a nice length. Alright, so once you feel like you're going to stop, you're just going to loop the second color up, like so, and um, if you go to my friend's account, well, our account, 
Mia and I have an, our own account called um, Me Know Me Do Witherspoon. Um, I will put that below because it's very hard to spell. I'll put that in the description. But um, yeah, that's going to be there. All right, now this girl just described it. Apparently, she can't do it on camera, but she said to do it like this. So you're gonna grab it off this one, grab it off this one, then this one, then this one. You should end up like this, and this is actually the perfect length. Wow! All right. So now she said to put your pencil or your hook or whatever you want through it. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm putting my hook through. Took her a while for some reason, but I just got it on like the second try. So I don't know why it was so hard for her. I don't know. Probably because it was a pencil and it had a tip, not a hook. And then she said, you gotta like. So, once you get it through the top, you're gonna pull here and put your hook through these of what I. half of them, of what I understood. And then put it through the other half, the other direction, like that. Should end up like this. Wow, that is actually pretty cool. So like I said, it turns out like a chevron. And if you don't like these loose ends, you can scoot it towards the end where that is. And you just kind of cross them all over. And it makes it a tight edge like that. So now I'm done with my chevron grippy. And that is how it turns out. So that is pretty cool got this cool thing going like that so now you can just hold on to this grippy and it actually did not take as many bands as I thought I would because I thought I would use way more than this like this is crazy so yeah and you can use this exact same technique to make a bracelet thank you for watching bye